So leo Zuchu kwa mara ya kwanza amefunguka kuhusiana na issue iliyokuwa inasemekana kuwa amekwenda nyumbani kwa Diamond Platinums na kuvunja vitu vya ndani TV na vitu vingine ambavyo vinavunjika. Na hii ni kutokana na kile ambacho Diamond Platinums amekifanya kwenye show ya Young Famous and African kama unakumbuka mambo yake na Fantana eh, huba lile Makis na nini na video ambazo zilisambaa kule mtandaoni ili semekana kwamba ni vitu ambavyo vili mkasirisha sana Zuchu kiasi cha kupelekea yeye kuweza kufanya mambo kama hayo. So leo amefunguka na amekiri kwamba haya yote yalikuwa ni kweli kupitia kipindi cha The Switch cha Wasafi. Cut cut cut. Which way should I start? Tuanze kwenye issue ya Fantana then tuje kwenye issue ya kwenda kufanya ugomvi. Amen kufanya ugomvi nyuma ni kwa boss wako. I think you need to set the record straight. Kamba ilikuwaaje ilikuwaaje what happened kama kuna ukweli ambao ulikuwa unaongelea kwamba ulienda kweli kwenye mjengo pale ukala unasikia ni fujo mpaka mliza kwa anashindwa kukuzuia vuja vuja tv makoti na kulipishwa juu na management kulipishwa hapana hiyo sio kweli i think i think my boss is better than that lakini kwenye kuvunja kweli um yeah ilikuwaaje ilitokea nini i was angry i was so angry and i I'm, I was so angry. I was just angry. It's Uli very... kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu unasema Damon ni rafiki yako. Yeah. Then ulikasirika. Ulikasirika nini? Yaani ulikuwa rafiki yako unaendaje kwenda kuvunja vitu? Ameenda mbali zaidi. Rafiki yangu alivuka amepaka. Those are not things we do on TV, friend. Oh, yeah. Really? Kwa namna moja au nyingine, si ndio? Kwa ilikuwa yeah. kama kama kuona rafiki yako anafanya kitu kama kile on TV. Of course. Yeah. Na mfano so, no, ukipata rafiki kama huyu. Mimi nataka Zuchu awe straight. Yote mpaka kwenda kufanya hizo fujo na kwa sababu amekiri kwamba kweli alienda akavunja. Ilikuwa ni sababu ya kile ambacho kilitokea kwa Damon na Fantana. Na yeah. labda ulimuuliza katika kumuuliza kwake alikujibu kitu gani mpaka ikapelekea labda ikafikia kama kwa sababu naamini kwamba kwenye Okay, urafiki kwenye mapenzi mkigombana kuna kukaji kuna kuzungumza mkishindwana sasa kuna reactions na zinaweza zikotokea. You see um I think Ooh. <laughs> Yo, na kuelewa. Yo, kumbuka kumbuka mama kumbuka. I yo. I think nili uh, actually nilikuwa nyumbani kwake. Okay. So this is what happened. I was busy cleaning the room and nilikuwa napanga sunglasses na nina nini. And then I happened nika nimeshika simu nikaingia Snapchat. Nikaona ile scene and I was asking myself is this a video? No, I would have known. You understand? So what is this? So um I know that girl cuz uh kipindi wana shoot I was in South Africa for some time kwenda kumtembelea da, 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 da. so I knew about her whatever whatever lakini I just didn't know it reached to that extent you understand yeah. and uh, whatever we sit and I'm like your season 2 your season 2 I'm like ah kwa kwa kudokeza dokeza mapema ni na kumarini mapema ni Naambia did you fuck somebody I know I'm like oh <sighs> Lakini wewe hiyo season 2 and I'm like What did you do? Hakwambii. Yeah, there were no Direct. Answers. You understand? Uh, cool. That is was my first time naona kama ambavyo watu wengine wameona yo. Okay. So my heart dropped. Mm. I just didn't know what to do and I was calling him. I think walikuwa ikulu that day mlikuwa cha mwino da da da. And thank God. Maana nilitakiwa niende siku ile. Nashukuru sikwenda cha mwino. Maana ngiko mbaya zaidi. Ai, nashukuru sikwenda cha mwino. I had other occupations lakini aka hapokei tu simu. I think kwa sababu alikuwa yuko busy. So I called the fumbo and then he was like, "Ah, yuko pale ikulu kasha inge I think the network da da da." I was like, "Sasa you know katikati ya rage ile, you have nobody to talk to." And um I think kuna vitu tu nimejifunza kwenye maisha yangu ni kufunga milango kuongea na watu wa pembeni especially marafiki yeah. familia yani yeah. nimefunga huo mlango oh, yeah. kwa sababu ya nature tu ya mimi position yangu yeah. na position ya rafiki yangu oh, yeah. ukiacha huo mlango wazo wazo usilale kila siku kuna kuna stress ni nyingi sana yani hutafungua kwao oh. nikafunga huo mlango so i found myself in the middle of something ambaye sina wa kuzungumza naye mm -hmm. and i'm there on You're my all alone. own yeah. so it was like a phase and it's like yani unajua mule yani yeah, yeah. Wow! Una joy. Yeah. And then after that I took my stuff I, I left Kivo. Then yeah, yeah, baada ya kumpata you... kwenye yeah. simu ilikuwaje? Yeah. Mara umeshafanya hivyo vitu ulivyofanya. Yeah, 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 he was busy. calling me. I was I, I just wasn't picking up his calls, you know. I just didn't want to speak to him. I was done. For how long? Okay. I for like, um changamoto nyingine. Na then sikio ananiweza sana. 
I'm not this way. Oh, Trust me, me, I don't give second chances. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. How long have you been with him? again. Actually, it's kupokea simu yake ile siku nzima and then akaja kunipigia me around kama saa 9 ya usiku huku kama siku natakubadilika. Yeah. Ndio nikapokea after him calling me like the whole day yeah. anapigia you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was like in the middle of meetings akitoka na nipigia so I I picked up. Mm-hmm. I said what I said, you know. Na wakati huo alikuwa ameshapata taarifa ya kitu gani ambacho umekifanya au bado hajapata taarifa. Nilimtumia video kwa sababu nilimwona kule Snapchat ilibidi niingie Netflix kutafuta mm-hmm. kuitafuta sasa movie yake. What is this? Yeah. So nikaona kwa oh, so this is it. You understand? Yeah. Kwa hiyo ile ndio ikazidi yeah. kuku kukufanya yeah, feel bad sasa. Yeye alikuwa ndani ya situation pale ulipiani. Unajua kuna zile unajua ushaona hiyo kitu umeshafanya fujo ushamcheck on then anakupigia simu umepokea kama unavyosema kwake una kidogo unakuwa kama pilitoni. Alikupa sumu gani mboka kwa mwada bwana acha iishe tu maisha mengine endelee unajua rei i'll say this once and for all kwenye maisha yeah. yangu mimi mimi nilikuwa mtu wa hivi rafiki baba ndugu ukinikera nafuta na potezea i was like that yani i delete you in my life utakuepo sitokuchunia kwa sababu sina si hold grudges mimi yeah. I don't hold grudges. I'm very easy to please actually. Mm-hmm. Lakini tu kuna distance na itengeneza ambayo hutokuwa mtu wangu tena. Oh. Lakini sasa uh, as you grow you learn kwamba mtu unayempenda zaidi ndo atakayekuumiza kuliko wote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, at the end of the day I I remain single forever. Mm-hmm. Au nitakuwa mpweke forever, nitakuwa bila rafiki forever, yeah. nitakuwa mjane mkiwa sina mama kwa sababu the people you love the most are the ones that are going to hurt you the most hurt you the most I'm not saying you should condone disrespect mm-hmm. you understand i'm yeah. not saying that because mm-hmm. i'm a uh, i'm a i'm a figure out there people are looking at me mm-hmm. like kama kio yeah, yeah. do not condone disrespect mm-hmm. lakini um there are various reasons to why i'm staying in whatever situation that i'm in yeah, yeah. I might be blinded in love but I don't feel like I'm that dumb oh, to yeah. be that blind you yeah, understand yeah. so I feel like um kwa maelezo yake alonipa uh ilichukua muda kuifuta actually ni sisemi uongo lakini ilifikia point nika nikaamua kumsamehe maelezo oh, yeah. yako sasa ambayo na katika hiyo situation kata. like so far umejifunza nini in case rafiki yako Well, huyo ni Zuchu hapo umemmsikia kikubali kwamba kile ambacho kilisemekana kimetokea nyumbani kwa Diamond Platinums e, kwa maana ya yeye kwenda kuvunja vitu nyumbani kwake e, TV na vitu vingine vya thamani ni kweli. Na hii imetokana na ile video ya Diamond na Fantana. E, unakumbuka ile video wana kiss e, ya kwenye show ya Young Famous and African. Lakini pia mahusiano ambayo yamezaliwa kupitia e, reality TV show hii kati ya Diamond Platinums na Fantana imekuwa ni mwiba kwa Zuchu. Kwa maelezo yake nadhani mmeelewa vizuri sana. Lakini miongoni mwa issue ambazo ameziaddress leo kwa mara ya kwanza ni tetesi za yeye kuwa mjamzito. Nakumbuka zilikuwa hapo pia hizo. Na kuna siku pia nimefanya interview na Juma Alokoli akasema Zuchu ni mjamzito. So kwenye interview hii amesema kwamba sio kweli ndio hajaenda direct kusema sio kweli lakini anasema yeye hawezi kupata mtoto kabla hajaolewa so maybe kama ni mjamzito basi inabidi swala la ndoa litokee hapa kabla ya mtoto mwenyewe kuzaliwa lakini unless otherwise basi tufahamu kwamba hivyo inawezekana kweli sio mjamzito na hata issue ya kupata mtoto yeye mwenyewe e, naona kabisa sio issue ambayo anaiwaza kwa sasa kwa sababu nilikuwa namsikia namna ambavyo anazungumza kwamba hata kama ni issue ya ndoa basi hawezi kusema anaolewa sasa hivi e, wala wajipe time kidogo ndo kwanza bado hana miaka mingi sana kwenye industry ya muziki so pengine hawezi kukimbilia masuala ya ndoa so kifupi ni kwamba issue ya uzito kwa Zuchu sio ya ukweli kama Diamond alivyoandika kipindi kile kwenye huko eh, mtandao ni of course ilikuwa na comment kwenye post ya Juma Lokole akisema kwamba eh, Januari nafikiri mchumba anajifungua so pengine huyo mchumba sio Zuchu labda na mwanamke mwingine ambaye anatarajia kujifungua huo mwezi au sio unamtazama gani hapo kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini pia subscribe hapa SNS kwa taarifa nyingine kila wakati attention your potential customers are watching this video Don't miss out on the opportunity to reach them. Advertise your business alongside their favorite content and convert them into loyal customers. Contact us now at info@snstz.com at or WhatsApp 0659250389 to amplify your brand to the SNS family.